Yo, what up? It's your boy Me Melly, man. We in the trap house. You already know how we doing it, man. We stay in the motherfucking trap house doing we do. Giving y'all the hottest music on the streets right now. Let's, Let's get it. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, SP the Ghost, LOX, D Block. Right now, I'm trapping in the trap house, you know what I'm saying? You wanna hear what's going down? Wanna hear the hot interviews? You wanna hear the hot songs? You wanna hear what's popping in the street? Hit the trap house up. Ghost love the trap house. Big shout out to all my folks in the trap house. Salute, D Block. Block. Nigga, this is one gunplay, Don Logan, I'm out of this world Welcome to my motherfucking universe, I'm true for the jack And I represent two M's, murder, mayhem, millions, Maseratis Motherfucker, making miracles, money motivated, Miami material And right now, you tune in to the motherfucking trap house, nigga It's your boy, Ellie, brother, Don I'm officially rocking with a trap house rock show VidLevel.com all day, every day From the A-Town to North Cape to South Cape From the Midwest to up North, down South Everywhere we rocking with it, Ellie, boy Yes, indeed, it's the Mix King, Ron G And you're tuned in to Trap House Rocks Radio With Miss LB and Z Nimstar You heard? What up, it's your boy Slim Thugger, and you're checking out Trap House Rock, man. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up, y'all? This your boy Lil Lady Bone, rocking out, man, right here on the Trap House Rock radio station. Y'all know what it is, Bone Thug style, baby. Hey, yo, right this now. Napoleon, the legend, a.k.a. Febo Gamo, and you're now tuned in to Trap House Rock's radio. Yes, yes, yes. Febo Gamo. Yeah, man, you already know what it is. We're back up in the building. Trap House Rocks Radio. We've got a special guest on the line, Napoleon the Legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up? Trap House Rocks, we good. And you know this. Man. Man. All right. Now, we just had your boy. <laughs> Go ahead, Z. Go ahead. Well, so we heard your boys out there tearing the city up tonight, man. <laughs> Word is born, so we, we, we actually had his uh, album release party, man. I just stepped outside and joined his popping in there, man. It's LMC's on the mic. People are in there, you know, having a good time. He's selling T-shirts, hats, CDs, everything, man. So it's all good. Before we go any further, let's let the people know who you are, where you come from. Let them, let them know a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I go by Napoleon, the legend, a.k.a. Feral Gamo, the black Feral with ammo. And uh, basically... Uh, I'm based out of the DMV area, uh, D.C., Maryland. Uh, but, you know, right now I relocated to Brooklyn, New York. You know what I mean? It's been a few months. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, originally, you know, I was born overseas in France. You know what I'm saying? African roots and all that. But, uh, yeah, to make a long story short, that's what it is. Yeah. Now, now for the people who don't know that's just tuning in to hear Napoleon the Legend. We've been spinning his new album right here in, in its entirety on Trap House Rocks. You know, we, we did this promo for him um, for a whole week, you know, until the album come out. Let's let the people know, where what is the album? Tell, tell them who can we expect on the album, if there's any features on there, and uh, what they can expect, period, from that album. Yeah, yeah, big, big, big respect and shout outs for that, man. Y'all, y'all been showing a lot of love. Yeah, the album is called Awakening. It's my first uh, full-length album, and um, we have, um, of course, myself, but uh, notable, big notable features is Sean Price uh, is on there. We got Raekwon the Chef on there from the Wu-Tang Clan, and we got Spit Gems on there, too. Uh, just so happens, you know what I'm saying? So we got just nothing but bangers, you know, it's real hip-hop. Uh, it's out on iTunes right now. It's out on Bandcamp. You can get the download or you can get the CD. You know what I'm saying? Either way, you can come out to the show and copy from, from, from us, man. You know what we're, I mean? We're definitely aware of the traffic already that this album's getting. I mean, I'm seeing Awakening, Awakening everywhere I look online. You know, the major websites are picking it up, all the blog spots and uh, shit. I know a lot of people has bought the album. No doubt. No, it's, 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 I'm, I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm really, you know, um, had a lot of love, man. People showing mad love, and I'm really appreciative on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, you know what I'm saying, all across, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, you know, we getting orders from, like, Canada, Germany, France, you know, everywhere in the United States. We're getting orders from UK. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's it's kind of 
really crazy. The blogs are showing mad love to it, too. And, uh, you know, we get nothing but positive feedback, man. People like what they're hearing. So, you know, it's just telling me that, you know, um, we're doing the right thing. We're on the right path right now. You know what I'm saying? So we're just keeping it moving and, and rolling with it. Now, I know you have a lot of videos out there, but there are two videos that are more recent videos that I want to talk about a little bit. I know I sent Zenoff the Wiseman video oh, with uh, Sean Price. I know he wants to talk about that. Word up. Yeah, man, we got, uh, we definitely did, uh, the Wise Man joint was the first single off the, of the album, and, uh, we shot a video, uh, with Sean Price, more like a mini movie, and we also got a video for, uh, a track called Matrix and Hologram, that was the second single, uh, first video was shot by C Cyril Mahe out in, uh, Harlem, and the second video, uh, flew out my man, uh, Edson Flores from Arizona, and you know they just hooked it up, man. So it's really, it's really official. We got the Vivo channel up now, with, with those videos available on it too. So make sure you subscribe to that. That's that's big business right there, man. I mean, I think it's safe to say what you're saying. Um, the different countries and, and, and different um regions that's fucking requesting the album and purchasing the album, man. You're making this world music right now, man. No doubt, man. And hip hop is worldwide. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's no limits to what we're doing. A lot, you know. You got you got thing global, not local. You know what I'm saying? It's like Master That's Killer right. said. You know, from the international vocalist, the style is too local to fuck with this. That's kind of how I feel right now. You know? Say that. Say that. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm talking, man. I mean, I can appreciate the fact that lyricism is in effect, personality is expressed through the music, you know what I mean? Um, you know, d different from just hearing different joints, man. Like, you are a very, very diverse MC, man. And it's, it's definitely appreciated coming from beyond, you know what I mean, a, a person who actually does music, but from a fan standpoint or a, a listener standpoint, man, the music is, is incredible, man. I'm loving it, dude. Yo, yo, no doubt. That's love is love, man. You know, it's... It's hip hop, and 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 we do it to to its truest form. Like you gotta sharpen, you gotta keep sharp. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you're playing ball. You know what I mean? You always gotta keep keep the skills up, and you, you gotta be able to play on any court, whether it's uh, outside in the street on a playground or indoors in the hardwood floor. So you know whatever beat you throw at me, I gotta make sure it's flavorful. What's mm. up? What's up? Well appreciated. Well, you know we got we got one of one of the. Um, the most official, man. I love this man, man. My nigga DV in the building. I know DV want to chop it up. Yeah, you know, you know me. I be in the cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just, you know, I'm the owl of the family. You know, so I try to, <laughs> no you know. Hey, yo, D DV, shout, shout yeah. out to you because because I I I I was rocking with your joints from back in the days, man. You know what I mean? All that my cool can go for that. I'll let the Transformers hook, all that, man, since yeah. back then. The Lord have mercy yeah. joint. So, yeah. man, respect on that, man. That joint, you, you got you got definitely originality and skill with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, you know, I'm going <laughs> to tell you, like, see, they don't call me Granddaddy Owl for no reason. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I have uh, been paying attention to you i know you've been doing you was doing some stuff in dc and all that and then no uh you know um i seen you on video music box you also no performed you performed over at the uh lindenwood diner oh you, know, you word, in my no you, you in my town homie so you know i see you. <laughs> you, you, you come in my town, you rapping, you doing broken language over, you know it's going to get back to DV, you yes, know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt. Yes, Word is far, word yeah. is far. <laughs> That's the whole crew. You know, you know, I got an interesting story about y'all, man. Like, back in the day, I, was, I, I did this single out in France, like years back, man. I don't, I don't remember the year, man. I don't remember years like that. But I actually... We caught a show with Chew Smooth the Hustler Trigger the Gambler out there in France one of these days. And y'all was killing that joint. Y'all did broken language and all that, yo. You know what I mean? So that's crazy. Bro. Yeah, I remember you know, that. Definitely... We actually, uh, we, um, um, my boy Olivier and Fana brought us out there. All right, no doubt. Yeah, yeah I was I out there. I was out there. One, I was with one of these French rappers, dudes called Science Super Crew. 
And they were like, yo, uh, you know, uh, the whole team is going to be out there. I'm like, yo, let's go. So we came, y'all rocked the show, man. So it was definitely, definitely an experience for me because broken language, I mean, you know what I mean? That's definitely one of the illest joints, you know what I'm saying? Like I've ever heard when it comes to hip hop. And it wasn't even my idea to do it. I didn't even know, I didn't even want, because my boy sent me that beat, right? The dudes from my thermal sound waves. And they were like, yo, why don't you rock to this? At first I was like, I ain't gonna disrespect this beat, man. You know what I'm saying? But he was just, I was just like, you know what? He wants me to do it. Let, let me see what I could do on it. And, you know, it just came out the way it came out. So, you know, that's, that's how things happen sometimes. Yeah, nah, salute, salute to you. You know, there's, there's been a few, you know, who, who have, uh, you know, attempted, I will use that word to, word. to redo Broken Language, but I feel you did, you, you did the song, you know, Justice, and I could tell from the, the style of your lyrics and the execution, you know, that you, that you definitely, you know, pay respect just from that level of it. DV, you know let's let the people hear it. Let's let the people hear it right now, live on the show. And uh, we'll take a short break, and uh, we'll, we'll come back with a little bit more Napoleon, the legend. Let's hear that Napoleonic language right now on Trap House Rocks. Yes, sir. Yeah. See truth, what up? Your Kev Lawrence, what up? Trap House Rocks. Thermal sound waves. Level.com. Napoleon, the legend. Ferro. Gamo. Yo. Yo, you love my element, calisthenics and eloquence. It's seven and let it stiff with the phallus rhetoric. You know my etiquette way sicker than Oedipus. Bars post traumatic like a veteran. Yo, the bone shatterer. Post game show examiner. Flow batter of Poe. Microphone ambassador. Coldest vernacular. Wrecking your cardiovascular. Patron tackler. Lone shark with no collateral. Body part damager. Part Dracula. Stock manager. Street runner. Corner block stamina. The money folder. Portfolio grower. Head in slow motion. Fellatio ho Noah. The microwave chef cooker. The Breath took her. Son, I left and took the money off the dresser when I left the hooker. Booker T, quote teller, the grown fella. Jerome Bettis, groom talent under my own umbrella. Chuck Norris, face basher, way past ya. Thermal sound wave slasher with the gray matter. The difference maker, the bar differentiator. Cremate you all on wax, the prop initiator. Mental manipulator, the dime solicitator. Rhyme proliferator, the bar facilitator. Vivid acrylic painter, the critic eliminator. Lyrical liberator, the true assimilator. The onion grabber, hit a famous onion bragger. The abundance haver, step on a bunion smasher. Air force wearer, ugly like a broken mirror. The organ shifter, the humanoid motion picture. The fear monger, skinny G mocker. The beat knocker, Mike Tyson beat boxer. The chief rocker, paranoid police watcher. He's dropping, he that drops like the sun, 2000 degrees hotter. Thermal sound waves. Ferro Gom, Napoleon the legend. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Right, right. Yeah, you definitely killed that man. Good looking out, good looking out, man. Like you can't come half fast or something like that, man. Yeah. So def definitely, definitely shout out definitely Video shout Music out Box video for like, box like killing that. No video. doubt, man. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Rap, Uncle Rap showing mad love, yo. He was rocking that video too. So you know, shout out to yeah. him. Well, I tell you what, you know, um, my Lorraine's had posted the video. That's how I even first heard about you. I didn't know anything about you, and then I checked out the video, and then I hit you up, and then we put you on the main event show with Master Wills. And then I said, you know what? We gotta we gotta bring him over here to Trap House Rocks for a different audience. Now the reason I did that is because I watched, I did a little bit more research, and I saw you on an older episode of Spitting in the Whip, man. And after I saw after I saw the Spitting in the Whip. <laughs> I was like, that's one of my new favorite MCs. Zeno, I feel like uh, about him like Smoke Grays and, you know, and, and people like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hear these MCs and I'm like, yep, they got it. 
yes, it do. <laughs> tell tell us about spit, tell us about spitting in the whip because I know I saw you on a couple episodes of that. We've actually got Crazy Al Kane coming through the trap house on on a twenty something. I can't remember the date right now. Uh, but when I saw that, I was like, hey. "How you know it's my phone?" It's one of y'all over there, man. I'm going to start kicking legs under the goddamn table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Tell us about spitting in the whip, man. Yo, that, um, shout out to my brother, Crazy Al Kane. That, that's my brother. Like, the, the, um, back in, the, I think it was 2009. And um, I had uh, this lady that was in New York. I was, still, I was living in Maryland at the time. He, she told me that... Uh, she knew Crazy Al Kane and he wanted to interview me for his show. So I was like, all right, I'm going to be in New York, I don't know, this weekend or whatever, so I, I could meet up with him. Right. So I didn't really know, because now kind of people know what it is sitting in the whip. But back in the day, he kind of just was interviewing cats and just put him on the spot and asked him to spit. That's really what happened. He was asking me mad questions. Then he was just like, yo, you know, now we're going to play a beat and just go in. And I was like, oh, what? And um, so he just started playing the beat, and you know the cameras on me, so I, had, I just had to show him proof. And I had never met him at the time, but uh, you know it's like he, he told me I was one of the first cats that actually rocked the whole way through, like for like I don't know five, six minutes. I don't know how long I rapped for, because like usually cats would just do like you know sixteen or twenty four and be out, but I just kept it going and going and going. And that episode actually made it to BT back when they had to show the deal. So it was a big, it was a good, it was a real good look for me. And me and him, like, you know, started, you know, becoming friends and started doing music together because he was a producer. And we came out with a whole mixtape called Sugarcane Experiments that's free wow. download. You could get it online. So that was love right there. Well, I, I got another question for you. I asked Spit Gems the same question. What do you think classifies an artist uh, as a true MC versus being a rapper? I think, um, the difference between a true MC and a rapper is is is, is more or less what which is sole purpose is. I, I feel like an MC, like they were brought here to kind of MC. You know what I'm saying? You kind you can't you kind of your soul. It, whatever you spit in comes from the soul. You know what I'm saying? Whereas anybody could be a rapper. Like it could be it could be a job to be a rapper. You know you could you could wake up in the morning and say you know what I could get. This dude to write my write my my rhymes and this dude to to I pay this dude for a beat and I, I'm a rapper. Anybody can be a rapper. You know, Say I can take the dude sit, sit, saying on the bench next to me and and, and give him a, a song and be like, yo, spit that and put a chain on him, put a few girls around him, put a few cars, big cars around him, and there you go, he's the next hot rapper. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But being being an MC is a lot deeper than that. It's just like you expressing and manifesting through your rhymes. So to me, that's kind of, on a nutshell, that's what it is. Man, what was what was one of the the things that sparked, whether it was music, some you seen, some you heard, what was it that sparked that MC in you that made you say, look, I, I think I want to be a fucking MC and I want to rap and write music for the rest of my life type shit. Yeah, like, to be honest with you, like, coming out here, like I said, like, I came here, I was four years old. I, you know, it was a lot of culture shock, you know what I'm saying? Coming from, you know, parents that, you know, with an African background. So I didn't discover hip hop till, you know, I would hear my friends, I would hear it on the radio, but really, you know, when I tuned into back in the day, I was fortunate enough to grow up in like during the golden era. I would tune into the BT, I would tune into MTV. That was my first glimpse. Like, wow, you know, watch the X Clan. I would watch like Smooth the Hustler, you know, like those songs come out, like all these MTs. And to be honest with you, I never I never even thought it was something that I would do. I didn't even know I had it in me. So I I, I approached that as a friend, like like a fan. I was taping radio shows, freestyles, I was going to Sam Goody getting my little mix more ninety nine cent singles. But it wasn't until I seen my my peers, like friends of mine doing it. I was like, All right. these cats is like rapping, like they got karaoke machines, four tracks, and then rapping. So I just like they, Gave it a shot, and then I was just hooked, man. Right from the start, like, wrote my first rhyme, and it was like, 
from there, it was over. Like, I just loved it. It wasn't even, that's why I say it's different between MC and a rapper. I, I didn't even think monetarily that this is something that could bring me some money one day. This is something that could make me go across seas one day. It was just more like, I love this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, truly love this. You know what I'm saying? I need this. You know what I'm saying? I can't live without this. That, that's how it kind of started. I can't either. I can't either. Zena, if you already know. Yes, <laughs> That's why I wanted to know what the fuck gave him the fever. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. this, shit the, this shit the badass flu you can't never get rid of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. No doubt. <laughs> tell tell <laughs> the people. I'm, I'm, term, I'm terminally ill. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, no uh, who are some of the producers you're working with? Um, Worked with a few. You had uh, Crazy Al Kane. I work with him a lot. Uh, my boy Unknown. Uh, he's out of D.C. Um, I, I did, did a few joints on my joint. Uh, Dush from Jersey. He, he produced Wise Men. Right now, we got on two seven, me and Spit Gems that's all over the block. That actually came out today. And it produced by Dush. My other boy, Mud, Mud Beats from D.C. I got a young young dude, um, African cat. He's actually out in Gabon sending me beats. But I knew him because he's the... I actually knew him when she was a baby, but he's back in Africa now. He's like 18 years old doing this thing called uh, uh, Aurelian, uh, aka Tiger, and he's dope with his beats. Um, it's, you know, several people. I got a lot of people sending me beats. It's basically how I vibe with them, and you know, and uh, and I just go from there. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, yeah. um, I want to ask you this question. Um, just a couple more questions. I know you're probably going to perform tonight at the public assembly and I'm going to let you get up out of here soon. But, um, sure. I want to know what do you, what, what's your definition of reality rap? Uh, my definition of reality rap, the reality rap to me is that, you know, a lot of people, they, 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 they feel comfortable with categories. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they have to know your, uh, you do crunk rap, you do gangster rap, you do conscious rap, you do high speed, you do this and that, you know what I'm saying, okay. down south rap. And, and to me, I didn't feel like any of these titles really fit me 100%, you know what I mean? And what, reality rap to me is the affirmation of the title that really I felt like really characterized what I did because it's, it's really my reality. I can't say I'm... Um, a conscious rapper, but I ain't conscious. I can't say I'm a gangster rapper. I can't say I'm this, but I got right. the reality. So that to me, it's it's really being true to myself 120% at all times, being genuine. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, yeah. <clears throat> we definitely appreciate you coming here on Trap House Rocks, you know, letting your voice be heard. Uh, the people out there know, you know, we're going to keep spinning that album so they can just check out the whole album. You know, before they buy, I know that they can uh, purchase the physical copies. Where's that at? Bandcamp. Yeah, they can go on the point of legend and get a physical copy mailed out to them. Right. Okay. Well, and I've got to ask you this because I ask all the guests these questions because um, the people want to know. Um, have you ever had any stalker fans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, more or less. I, I never felt, I never felt like any physical threats. You know what I'm saying? Like personally, but you know, there, there's there's people that get highly aggressive. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like, you know, corresponding with you on on the social media or or you know, intellect level. You know what I'm saying? Like I have some 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 fans like from all across the other side of the Atlantic. You know, hit me up like, yo. When you was on this video and you was gesturing your hands like that, I think you was talking to me directly, telling me that this was going to happen. I was just like, what? You know what I'm saying? And, and then, like, people, like, flipping on me for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, oh, this is kind of crazy, man. I have no idea who they are. But that, there's definitely, you know, some people that, that, that are kind of like, that you just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to take the... Everything is everything, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't complain. It's love, even even when it's 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 kind of not a conventional something that I would do. You know what right. I mean? I gotta accept that people are different, man, and it's all good. At the end of the day, it's all sparked because I, I you know, I touch their soul one way or the other. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, my artists deal with it all the time in one way or another. Zena Star deals with it all the time. 
and, and I do uh, uh, once in a while. The, they know I'll call their ass out on the radio if they do that shit to me. <laughs> but um, now that's uh, it's a two part question. You know, since you're out there at public assembly tonight, um, what's going to happen if you're up there on stage? The house is packed. Oh shit, baby. <laughs> Oh, and a female is in the, a female is in the front, and she throws a pair of panties up on stage, and they land in, like right on top of your head, and they smell like total shit. What are you gonna do? Woo! <laughs> oh. Yo, I thought I might have to stop the show for a sec, man. Like, uh -oh. yo, if something like that happens, I, 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 you know, I got laser focus, but some things just throw me off guard. I might have to tell the DJ to stop the music and ask, ask the people, like, who the fuck does this belong to right here? <laughs> this shit is potent right here. This shit is toxic. Somebody needs to go to a doctor right now, and I need to go to the bathroom and watch my mic file for Purell. We have a lot That's of probably different what I would answers. Do. We have a lot of different answers to that question. Just to let the people out there who are listening know, if it happens to General DV, aka DV Alias Christ, he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna brush it off and keep on rocking." You know what I'm oh, saying? Spit gems. Tell him, tell, tell him the definition of why I said that, though. <laughs> I can't because it would be funny then. So anyway, um, <laughs> Jim said, you know, his goons basically would like come around and like snatch him up. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But <laughs> we have a lot of different answers for that. Um, Tell the people what they for, for real, for, for real. From my perspective, I'll be concerned for the chick, but because if the shit smells like shit like that, there's something going on down there, man. How did so, you go hey. to show like that in the first place? Was my question. Hey, <laughs> let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, young boy. You ever seen a motherfucking blue waffle? <laughs> a what? I'd help a him. Don't a do blue that. Blue waffle. Don't man. do that. I'll send him the link. She got <laughs> nah, nah. We're gonna make sure you see that shit in the gonna, next couple yeah. of days. Man. We're gonna send you yeah. a link to your Facebook, maybe in the inbox in a few. It's the Blue Waffle, and you'll have to get back to me and Zenof and DV and let us know what you think about the Blue Waffle. All right, no doubt. I'm gonna hit y'all up on Twitter, man. I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. I don't know. I'm okay. not familiar with that right there. You will be in yeah, about 30 it. minutes. I'm gonna send it to you, but um. I want you, before you get up out of here, man, we've already got a drop from you. We've already got your album spinning here. We want to let the people know before you go where they can find you at online. Yo, check it out. Um, you can find me online on Twitter and on Instagram. You can get me on Team NDL. NDL spells Napoleon the Legend, so it's Team NDL. You can get me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Napoleon the Legend. The is D-A, so it's Napoleon D-A Legend. You can get me on Bandcamp, uh, NapoleonTheLegend.Bandcamp. Get me on iTunes, Google me with that same name. On uh, Vivo, you can get me, uh, I think it's Napoleon, Napoleon the Legend in Vivo. So, you know, just, just Google Napoleon the Legend. You'll find all the links you need to find. You know, get at me, Twitter me, follow me, whatever, man. It's all good. It's all love. Mm -hmm. And, yo, for real, I appreciate Trap House Frost Radio for having me on, man, because that show is big. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just, y'all had some great scent on that joint, so it's really an honor for me to be on here. You know what I mean? And we're really? honored to have you. I tell people all the time, we do have legends come through here, but we have the upcoming legends also. So y'all be on the lookout for Napoleon the Legend. Hit him up on Twitter at Team NDL. We're going to let you go rock out at the public assembly now. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you, can, you you know you're welcome here at the Trap House anytime. You know, come through, fuck with us, host with us, talk shit with us. You know, we're here. I'm, I'm, I'll be sure to do that for sure, man. And, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Good looking out once again, man. I'm about to do my thing. And, you know, I'm going to send note. you the link right now to the Blue Waffle, and you hit us up on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to check it out right now. All right, Zenup Star, peace, DB, peace, Miss LB, peace. I'm out of here, man. Thank you.